Hi guys, welcome to Empower In. My name is Caroline Porter Thomas. Thank you so much as usual for watching my YouTube channel. So in this video, I wanted to talk about relationship advice. Having a spouse that is also in the medical field, it really does help the relationship because they understand a lot more about what goes on in the job and how, you know, let's say if something happens, we might have to stay late or they can be more like sympathetic in that way. So dating somebody or being married to somebody that is also a nurse or is somehow in the health field, again, it does help. So let's just say that that's not the case, or let's just say that even though your spouse is in the health profession, they're not very understanding. Here's some advice that I think will help you develop a better relationship with your family members. The first one is to communicate. Your spouse, your kids, they all need to know exactly what your job entails, and they need to understand that you're waking up very early, you're going to be working on your feet for about 12, 13 hours, and they need to know that when you come home, you really need to give yourself the time to unwind. What I do see a lot of is I see a lot of nurses going home and cooking like full meals for their families and and that's fine if that's what you want to do. However, I see a lot of them complaining at work about this. And so whenever you're complaining about something, you have to understand that like you're creating your life. Nobody else is doing that for you. So you're going to really need to take some time to talk to your family and discuss this and see how things can change because most likely it's going to need to change. Or you could start just building up anger and more anger which probably one day will explode. Next thing that I do is I always try to make my spouse feel like he is a huge part of my plan. So I try to have like five-year goals or 10-year goals. So actually one thing that we do is every New Year's, we actually do not spend any New Year's with uh, family or anything like that. Every New Year's we take time and we write out our goals and we discuss our goals and where we're you know headed as a couple and as an individual. So knowing that we're both working towards a united goal helps us stay connected even if physically we're not spending that much time together because we're both working really hard. The last piece of advice that I want to share with you is that your relationship is far more important than your job. This person you're going to live with for the rest of your life, hopefully. These children you're gonna have for the rest of your life, hopefully. So it's really important that you do give the proper attention to this because it's far more important than any job would ever be. So all right, guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this message from Motivation Monday, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Love you, bye. Let's stay connected, guys. No matter where you are in the world, join me here every Monday at 6.30 a.m. AM Eastern Time for the weekly nursing pre huddle before your regular huddle. This will help you start your week off on the right note. Also, get email notifications as soon as the videos are published. By joining my email list, you will receive 25% discount on my best selling books. The first book, How to Succeed in Nursing School, has been called the best nursing school preparation guide for thousands of students just like you. Many say it's a must read before entering nursing school. In this book, I share how I went from a very average student to graduating nursing school with honors. It also includes includes tips on how to choose your nursing school, how to be successful in nursing school, and how to stay motivated and driven while in nursing school. The second book, New Nurse, How to Get, Keep, and Love Your Nursing Job, is an outstanding book to help nurses start their careers on the right foot or rekindle their love for nursing. We all join this profession for altruistic reasons, but sometimes the stress of the job has us beaten down. This book, I promise, will help you reignite your love for the amazing work you do. And finally, by joining it, you will also have access to a 40% discount for my How to Study for Anatomy and Physiology program. In this program, I share how I went from a C average student to two semesters later was on the Dean's List. I've shared these tips with thousands of other students and they have phenomenal results. Click here for information on how to join my email list. And oh yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel also. I'll see you guys next week. Love you. Bye.